Okay, so we have this polynomial and it's being squared and we have to multiply it out. This is called a trinomial because we have three pieces. So a good first step maybe is when you see this two, just write it twice. So this is minus x squared plus x minus one. And then over here you have the same thing, minus x squared plus x minus one. And now we're just gonna go ahead and distribute. So to do that, we're basically gonna take each piece and just multiply it by the ones over here. So we'll start by taking x squared and multiply it by each of these. So we'll do negative x squared times negative x squared. That's gonna give us a positive x to the fourth, right? because we add the exponents. Negative x squared times positive x. It's gonna give us minus x to the third power, because two plus one is three. And then negative x squared times negative one is going to give us a positive x squared because they're both negative. Now we'll go to the x. x times negative x cubed is gonna give us negative x cubed. x times x is gonna give us positive x squared. And then lastly, x times negative one is gonna give us minus x, boom, good stuff. All right, we've arrived at the last one, so let's do it. So negative one times negative x squared is gonna give us a plus x squared. Negative one times x is gonna give us a minus x. And negative one times negative one is gonna give us a positive one, yikes. Let's go ahead and attempt to clean this up. So x to the fourth, we're gonna keep that. There's no other x to the fourth. So I'm gonna cross them out so I know not to reuse them. x cubed and x cubed, there's negative one, negative one, that's gonna give us negative two x cubed. x squared, so it looks like we have x squared plus x squared plus x squared, so that's three x squared. And we have negative x minus x, it's negative two x and the one remains at the end, so plus one. And that would be the final answer to the problem.